Hello, everybody. I'm sorry I'm speaking English. No Flemish yet. Uh, my name is Alex Mazal. I am uh, representing the company Ocean Data Systems, and uh, I would like to spend 10 minutes to show you a bit and to tell you a bit about the product, which is called Dream Report. So maybe some of you have heard about the product, maybe some of you uh, have not. Dream Report is the world's first uh, software, reporting software, which is specifically designed and built for industrial automation. If you would think about uh, other reporting solutions like uh, Crystal Report or uh, Microsoft uh, SQL reporting services, those solutions can be used for finance, they can be used for stock, for whatever. Dream Report is specifically built only for automation. Every checkbox, every combo box is built to simplify the work of automation engineer. This software is built for non-programming users. You don't need to be a software developer. You can build a complete reporting project without any single line of code. No SQL, no C-sharp, nothing. Just a simple uh, checkbox level of uh, configuration, drag and drop. So just to give you a bit overview about the company, Ocean Data Systems is almost 15 years on the market. We have over 11,000 installations. We are partnering with Wonderware nearly 10 years, and uh, Wonderware Benelux is our partner for many, many years. So it's a mature company with a mature team and with a mature product. So what happens if you have your uh, data sources? You may have on your project PLCs, SCADA systems, uh, HMIs, historians, and you would like to bring all that data together. In Dream Report, we have our own communication platform. We have over 95 different drivers, and you will see it after, that can bring all the data in. And you can use your data as, uh, to build industrial reports, to visualize data as a live dashboards, and also to access the data with your client applications, apart from report generation. So basically, we bring all the data to the visualization part, and the visualization and analysis part you can do in the way you want. Briefly, how it works. First of all, you connect Dream Report to your data sources. Once again, we have over 95 different drivers. Uh, you can get real-time data here from PLCs, for example, from SCADA systems. You can get historical values, you can get historical alarms, and all this data you can mix up. So as soon as you are connected to all your data sources, then you have Studio, Designer Studio, when you, uh, where you make all the configuration. Here I want to make a point. You can connect your Designer Studio to your project locally or remotely. It's even uh, web-enabled, which means that uh, you can connect from your office to a plant floor, and from your own PC in the office, you can connect and develop your project. It's also a multi-development environment, which means multiple engineers at the same time can uh, connect to the same project and develop different reports and uh, different modules at the same time. We have proper version control uh, system. We have a proper check-in, check-out uh, system. So it's really a multi-developer environment. And one more point. If, for example, you would like to put Studio on a cloud-based virtual machine and connect it to your uh, local plant, for, uh, plant floor project, it's also possible. As I say, uh, for our runtime agent, it's independent if uh, you're connecting a studio locally or remotely. And then, when everything is designed, you can make and generate reports as a document. Reports gen can be generated, for example, uh, manually. They can be generated on schedule. You can say this report is weekly, monthly, daily. Right? It can be generated on event if you have a batch process. So you can generate report, for example, at the end of every batch uh, automatically. If you have alarm, for example, you can generate reports automatically when alarm happens. If report is generated as a document, which can be PDF, Excel, XML, CSV file, it can be automatically printed on one or multiple printers. It can be automatically saved, uh, sent by email to one or multiple uh, email recipients. It can be uploaded to FTP, stored on a file server, so all the infrastructure. You can also generate reports in a web format then report will be a web page. If report is a web page, then it can be really dynamic, interactive web report. And once again, you don't need to know anything about uh, web development. It's all checkbox configuration. 
About this we will talk a bit later also. You can also visualize data, same data as the dashboards, and also you can access uh, with your client application as to a server, for example, to an OPC server, and get calculated values on your, uh, in your client application. Once again about connectivity, here you can find different drivers to various SCADA systems, historian systems, uh, PLCs, so all the data you can bring within the same project. We have limitation of, 95, uh, sorry, of 2,000 different drivers in the same project. Even on the same chart you can uh, put several lines, each line would look at different data source. So there is no limitation and full flexibility in that. Of course, we have open protocols like OPC, like ODBC, or LADB, yeah, which uh, enables you to connect to uh, standard protocols, uh, data sources. Uh, the second point, if we're talking about automation after connectivity, would be statistical uh, functions and aggregated uh, functions. In Dream Report, we have integrated library of over 114 statistical functions. Simple, complex, very complex, and very, very complex. For example, if you need to calculate minimum maximum average, that's not a big deal to calculate, right? But what if you need to calculate downtime or round time, uh, uh, running time of your equipment? What if you need to, to calculate uh, like mean kinetic temperature, for example? All that is here. So you just select from the list downtime, pick a tag, which is the state of your equipment, on or off, click OK, that's it. All the rest we do ourselves. No, no coding, nothing, absolutely. We also have powerful scripting mechanism here. If, for example, there is something that you cannot achieve using standard statistics, you can do this uh, with the scripting. You can also make uh, condition calculations. For example, if this happens, I would like to do this. If that happens, I would like to do that, and so on. So all those tools are here. Couple of words about the web. Uh, once again, we have web portal integrated uh, into the software. All reports that you, uh, uh, you have generated and which have been generated would be automatically published here on the web. You can also publish new reports on the web. Uh, generate new reports on the web. Uh, we use only clean technology, like HTML5, like uh, JavaScript. We have no active access, no silver light. Uh, that's why uh, this web portal have been approved and certified by big companies like Nestle, like Sanofi, like GSK. So we know that we comply by security with all strict rules of uh, big companies, of IT departments of big companies. We have user management uh, in the system, so you can uh, easily link Dream Report, including web interface, to your Active Directory or uh, create local users. And for different users or user groups, you can define access within the product, to which reports they have access to, to which modules within the software they have access to. Once again, you can automatically publish reports. But one, uh, what I wanted to say before is on the web, you can easily create dynamic interactive web application. Means on the report, you can add, for example, date and time pickers that in the real time you can select for the current report time period. You can select tag, uh, tag picker, uh, put combo boxes, list boxes, check boxes, buttons. You can make drill down reports. For example, you would like to make selections and results of selections you would like to pass to the next report, which you would like to open now. So all this is possible without any programming. If you would like to, for example, to put a big screen on the entrance and to make a slideshow, for example, you want to put five, six reports that should be generated in the loop, uh, giving 30 seconds or one minute for each. You can easily do this with Dream Report as well. And there are uh, many other things. If you would like to uh, integrate uh, Dream Report web portal into your web application, you can do it very easy. You just make a frame, and in your web application, you would select which reports you would like to generate, from which time to which time, or which batch ID, which parameters you uh, launch dynamic URL to the frame and you get the ready web page. So your end users will not even know that there is Dream Report running behind. It will be fully transparent for you and it will be fully integrated into your environment. And once again, it's all available on mobile devices. In fact, in Dream Report, we have uh, two web portals, one for PC and one for, one for mobile device. And uh, when you are connecting to our server, we automatically detect what's the operating system on the client side, and we will load one or another. 
So it's fully supported. Everything you do is fully supported on Android, on iOS, and you don't need to, to make double configuration. You configure your reports once, and it auto, it's automatically converted to whatever system will be on the client side. And here you can see example of a web page with buttons with date and time pickers. And once again, you build this in a few minutes. It's really easy to do. Not hours, not days, not weeks. We have full support of SPC. So if you need to have SPC calculations for quality control in your, uh, in your project, we have a uh, library of all SPC objects. Full compliance with the standard. We support eight Nelson rules. You can define uh, and display violations of Nelson rules. So it's all here. For the security, once again, we have user management in, so you can uh, easily uh, uh, control access and have authentication using uh, users. We have very unique uh, version control, which means that on report you can uh, display a version of that specific report. If you change anything, the version will be automatically changed, and uh, all changes will be locked in the audit trail database. If, for example, you deploy it on your uh, project, report version 3, and now after two, three months, it's report version 5. Somebody did something, and you don't know what. For every single report, you can click version 3, press on the button rollback. We open report exactly as it was saved on the version 3. So every modification, every change, every version for every separate report will be changed, uh, will be saved. We have full audit trail uh, database. You can enable it for the runtime, for configuration part, and for the real-time part. Of course, we have full support of electronic signatures. You can see here that uh, the logo of FDA, a lot of projects that we do, uh, that people do with our product, they are FDA uh, validated. So we have full compliance with FDA requirements. You can easily build FDA validated projects. Electronic signatures, by the way, are also available on the web. So you can electronically sign reports via access uh, from the web portal. We have our own uh, dashboard uh, product integrated into a dream report with a separate designer. So it's a dedicated designer, and you can build different dashboards. It's a separate set of graphical objects, <coughs> separate functionality, but using the same data. You can also access... Uh, statistical and analytical data with your client applications. Right now we have OPC uh, DA uh, server. So when you connect to us, you will see uh, the list of all statistical calculations. You can uh, pick any of that and read the data. And we can calculate upon request apart from report generation. So you can really use Dream Report as a statistical calculation platform. Uh, shortly in summer, we will have new interfaces like OPC UA, like JSON and REST API. We have also have a toolkit that you can build direct connectivity. So you can use Dream Report as a calculation platform. And apart from report generation, you can get all the data in your application. For example, recently, uh, I think a few days ago, I heard about the project in the US where a customer is doing uh, SPC calculations in Dream Report. And using ADS, uh, he's displaying all that inside InTouch application. So it's a SCADA screen with uh, all uh, SPC information which is calculated in Dream Report. We also have advanced cost calculation. For example, you need to calculate electricity bill or uh, water utilities bill. And we know that there is a daily, a daily rate, nightly rate, uh, rate by consumption. So in Dream Report, you can define any complexity of rules. And you can uh, make all the calculation using true, uh, uh, I would say, true rules of uh, your rates. Besides the bills, you can also use cost calculation for, uh, to define, for example, the cost of uh, downtime of your equipment. For example, you are coming to a manager and you say, look, uh, the OE of our equipment, of our production line is 72%. So what? It means that 28% of time it was off. So what? So your loss is 20 k dollars. Okay, now I understand. So this module can really uh, help you to link financial information and plan for information and turn your production data into the real cost. We also have uh, IoT communication, so you can build, uh, you can easily connect Dream Report to data brokers using MQTT, get IoT data, and use it in your reports. Uh, shortly in summer, Spark Plug uh, uh, version of MQTT will be added as well. 
And once again, to wrap up, Dream Report today is really the best recommended solution worldwide. Uh, any commercial information about this is not for me. It's uh, for our partners, for Wanderer Benelux. So uh, I have a table here. If any of one of you would like to get more information, you're welcome. I can uh, give you, make you a live demo and so on. Unfortunately, right now, I have only 10 minutes. So thank you.